Okay, guys, I'm just gonna discuss how to bypass cheat engine. Now, there's like about three ways to do it. One is that create a shortcut to cheat engine and you just rename it to something else. And when you go on cheat engine, go on set scan settings and change and it just like change. Don't store temporary files or something like that on to any folder that you want. I recommend doing it on the for when the yeah, we're actually we're on Windows um on the uh let me show you what I mean by that. This the Windows eight oh underscore S the C thing, but it might not say the exact same thing Windows OS, but it says like C or something like that. So and if that works, just change it every time. Just change the name every time you close it. Okay, so second is you get sandboxy and you run Roblox player sandbox and then open up Teen Engine and it should work. And third, you uh you have to I'll leave a link to sandbox in the description. But uh what you need to what you need to do is for the third technique, this is the one that works for me the best. So you open up Cheat, like when you go into Roblox game, open up Cheat Engine. Just don't make your, just don't scan anything. Make sure it doesn't shut down. Go to the file that you stored it in. I rec, oh yeah, create a folder called Scan on Windows C again. And then, all right. So then you're gonna find a file called Cheat Engine in that folder you stored it in, and you just have to delete it. Or you can just delete the file inside the cheat engine folder and just rename it and then it should work. So yeah, if you want a more advanced tutorial on how to do on how to do it, like I'm pretty sure for the just for the third technique, if you want like a pretty more advanced one, then just tell me in the comments guys and peace.